on the last episode. I'm your host, Crystal. It was Crystal's time to shine as she hosted episode two. Lee doing Lee things. And Click FC made their way to the lane, looking to come away with three points. But a goal from Dan and a brace from Starman Lucio ensured they went back to their so called fortress in Dagenham empty handed. Yeah. Kevin on all things Hatch Lane. Obviously, we're going to be releasing more content this year as well. Yeah. Um, for the first time. Yeah. Anyways, let's get episode three started. Hey guys, bonjour, salut, hola, and welcome to today's episode. I'm your host, Benarese. On today's episode, we travel to Napier's playing field on a wet, muddy Sunday morning to face Flanders FC who finished the last season strong and they'll be looking to get a string of wins together having started the season slowly. Plenty of goals in this one, but how would we fare? This is Hatch Lane TV. Many of the human race will say that it's definitely been arguably one of the worst years in history. However, on the pitch, 2020 has actually been a good year for Hatch. At the end of the last season, it was announced that the East London, Barking and Dagenham League would no longer continue to run on a Sunday, which then led the boys with no league to play in for the next season. Hackney Marshes, as many would say, the home of grassroots football, boasted two of the biggest and most popular leagues in London, with the East London Sunday Football League, as well as the Hackney and Leighton Sunday Football League. Both establishments boasted at least five divisions, with the clubs playing every Sunday, wherever the weather, and players travelling from all over the UK to not only compete with their mates, but also for personal bragging rights. Here is where you can get megged on a Sunday or if you shank a pedal over the bar, your boys will let you know about it in your WhatsApp group. So having competed in the East London League for over 10 years, it was only right that Hatchley made the move to the Hackney and Leighton League as we would finally get to see who really was the best team over at the Marshes. Naturally, having played at Hackney Marshes since 2009, it was only right that we moved over. However, with the difficulties surrounding grassroots football and the lure of competing in something fresh, away from the marshes was definitely attractive. The Essex Corinthian League came calling and one conversation with Mark was all it took for Kevin to move the team into the senior division. And so far, it's been a great start to the season, having won eight of our first nine matches, with the only draw being the first game of the season and currently we sit on top of the league where a victory today would keep us at the summit going into the new year. Can we stay there? It's time to find out as we head over to our commentary team. Of Welcome ladies and gents to Hatch Lane FC TV. My name is Steve-O and I'll be commentating on today's game versus Flanders FC. So let's sit back and enjoy. Just an early warm up for the boys, get them ready for the game. Playing against Flanders today. Got the beer minimum. But you have to believe to achieve. We we'll work with what we have and we we'll do what we need to do. Bob on 11 man. Bob on 11 man. But you know what? This is where leaks and cups is how you win them. It's not one, but you know when you got all your players and all that. You see when you're down to bare bones, 11 mm. man in the blizzard, it's where you win leagues. So, you know, I'm confident we've got a good 11. So you got some okay. key players out. Yeah, got a lot of key players, key players out. Players Unfortunately, but you know what I mean? You can't grumble about that because the 11 we got, we've got no excuse, they're good enough, you know? Some of my juicy. Three points. Come on, three points. Kev, uh, Mr. Captain. Three points. Nothing all day, more, all day, less. every day. More, and we less. and we got our main man. We're not allowed to play at the moment.
Erton, but you know, he'll be back in the next couple of games. Come on, come on. And you know how this thing go already. Our main guy. Come on. Feeling good? Looking for another clean sheet? And three points. Come on, my brother. Every single time. I didn't check your okay, case, son. Come on. Feeling good? Feeling ready? Come on. That's what I like to hear. Boys, Hatch Lane. And here it is, Hatch Lane's lineup. Playing a 4 3 3. We've got Martin in goal. Right back, we've got Trem. Left back, we have John. We've got Lee and Sol. Centre backs, we have Steven, myself, and Captain Kev in centre mids. Right mid, we've got Dan M. Left mid, we've got Dan R. Tyler in the 10. And we have Russo up top. Okay, so let's get into it. We've got three minutes gone so far. Hatch Lane versus Flanders FC. As you can probably tell straight away, the pitch is awful. It's raining, it's wet, it's cutting up easy. That's not stopping us from just passing it around. So as you can see, we've got Tyler, plays it out to Dan M. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Trying to beat his left back 1v1. Gets a cross in, and unlucky, unfortunately, goes over. As you, can see, as you can see from the start, we're just trying to pass it around, just keeping the ball moving. He goes to the left back, takes our time, pass that to Kevin, looks at Tyler, sets it, locks up, Kevin's bare feet, we turn it out, yeah, plays to Lee, go left back to John. As you can see, Flanders just trying to get their shape. We're just moving the ball, just two touch, one touch. We've got Dan R. Oh, what's he going to do? Tries to play a through ball. Lucia cuts back. Was it John? Let's go. He plays, he plays it. Tyler's there. Picks up, switches it. Dan M. First time ball. First goal. And there you have the first goal. And Dan R. So Dan M with the assist. Plays it across first time. So here's going for the replay. Tyler plays it out. Dan M. First time across the goal. Dan R shoots, keeping him one on a bit. 1 0 to Hatch Lane. Great stop. And there we have it now. Lucio, oh, ref plays advantage. They started on attack. It goes through. Trem should have intercepted it. Winger's in. Trem does well to recover. And uh, Winger shoots wide. As you can see, it's an early scare. Look at this play. Great touch. As you can see, we're just passing it around. No more than two touches. Moving the ball, Dan R. He's gonna try to isolate his player. Plays it to Tyler. Tyler looks up. Plays to Den. Dan R. Step, step, step. Shot. Hits the post. And we got up for Dan. Shoots. And then he tips the post to that side as well. Okay, okay. Good see Kevin. Starts again. Myself. Just trying to get, keep the ball moving. Play to Dan M. First time set to Kevin. Back to myself. Plays the feet to Lucio. Give him goal. Who wants it? Looking for options. Dan M comes in, sets it again. Lucio's got it. Can he play the ball? No. I think Moss called a foul there. It's a free kick. At the edge of the box. The hatch. Dan R. Up he gets. Yeah, there's never going in. I don't know why he moved like that. So as you can see, it's all hatching at the moment. So, here's the big talking point. We, we think it's a foul. What do you think? Refs played on. Souls on the floor, obviously, going around, playing. We're playing on, we're playing on. Great defending by Lee. Takes him wide. So they've hit the post. Referee's come over now to speak to Henry. And now this is the incident. We've told the players, when they play, I got injured, we kick the ball out. But when our player got injured, they didn't get the ball out. We said, OK. So from then, we're just going to beat the team by goals. So we've got Kevin, turns out. Dan, M, looks up, plays to Lucio. That's good defending. Defending. Keeper kicks it. He goes straight to Tyler. Takes his time, composed. Lucio right foot. Cuts back on his left foot. Bottom corner. 2-0 to Hatch Lane. Lucio with a goal. Look at the replay again. 
This so right foot onto his left, shifts it, goes across goal. Yeah, keeper, no chance of saving that. There we go. Got loose on the ball. Looks up. What can he see? This is Tyler. Plays to myself. I see John making a run. Touch from John. This must be about 25 yards out. No, he's not, is he? Strikes it. And keepers at the man. It's gone under his arms. <laughs> John, don't, John won't run about that. So that's 3 0. 40 minutes gone down. Let's put the replay. John comes on his right foot from left back. Strikes. Bubbles away. Keeper. Go. Been going, Jim. Yeah. Give me the ball, please. You can see he's upset. Pride and ego. Again to the box. Waiting for the contact. There it is. Referee's got no choice but to award the penalty. There, midfielder's claim shot to the shoulder. As you can probably tell. From the first incident, it wasn't going to happen like that. We've got Dan R taking the penalty. Starts to his left. Keeper should have got there, but didn't. 43 minutes gone, it's 4 0 to Hatch Lane. Score with Dan R. And there we go. Almost half time. Okay, there it is, half time. Ref's called it. 4 0 half time. Hatch Lane against Flanders FC. Let's hope for a better second half. London florist is down the mount. If you want flowers for special occasions, your birthdays, your weddings, your Christmas, your Valentine's, head on down to the Instagram. You can see it right there at the London florist and get it for your missus. Culture pops. What do you know about alcoholic pops? If you're trying to get licked, summer occasions, birthdays, whatever event, head on down to culture pops, get onto the website. You can see the Instagram right there in front of you. Get some culture pops and let's get twanging. Look at those watches. Look at that jewelry. Rings, watches, anything that you might need. If you're trying to stunt, if you want it on your wrist or your finger, flash timepiece. Head on over to the Instagram, make a purchase, or just simply send them a DM and they'll get back to you as soon as possible with whatever bling that you need. Okay, second half is underway. Turn out to Kevin. Kevin plays it to myself. I see Lisa run outside the foot. There we go. First time shot. It's an awful shot to be fair. Keeping the fan of a mix up. Lucio pounces after calamity from Flanders. So that makes it 5 0. 46 minutes gone. Let's go to the replay. Oh, no replay that time. Alright, we're off. They're kind of attacking now. Plays it through. Good tracking. Foul, foul, foul. Dan M doesn't want to let go of him. I think the ref might bring it back. Yeah, he's brought it back now for the free kick. Let's go. Ah, he's pulled it wide. Shan, very good player. For Flanders. And let's go. Plays the feet. John tries to battle his battles. Dan R comes in on his right foot. Oh my days. And he scored. Keeper should have done better. Dan R would say he was going away from him. He's going to the corner. A great goal. 6 0. Look at the replay again. So Dan cuts on his right foot. Strike to outside the box. Mm, keeper. But can't take, can't take it from Dan. And then we've got John. Plays it out to myself. Left foot. Play to Dan M. He's going to beat him. Now he plays with pass. Kevin, Kevin looks up, plays to Dan R, he's in the box, 1v1, step, step, cuts in, cuts in again, great finish, bottom left, one thing I've got to say about Dan R, this game here, he's shooting boots what, on, that's 7-0, here we've got Shan making a little run, Tyler gets passing too easy, I try and slow him down, delay, delay, John does well, Still got the ball. 
play it to the centre mid, plays it wide. We cross it in. Keeper claims it. Great. There we go. Trim. Right back to Dan M. Runs inside. Kevin, first time set, bit short. They get it Dan M. Plays to myself. Stop, stop, move. Shifts it to left back to John. Was running, running. Beep beep, skips past him like he wasn't there. Now what's he got? What's he got? He's right footed. But he goes on his left. Great ball across goal. Unfortunately no one gambled. Done this clear it. Sham. Tries too much. Play it through to Lucio. Centre back. Wow. Got no ball. Clean that Lucio. Left gave a free kick. Let's see what happens from here. We got Lee. Steps up. And yeah, it's not the best, not the best free kick. They clear it. Comes back to Lee again. Can he make up for his shot? No. We've got a corner here now. Dan R taking it. Plays it short. Tyler. Dan shoots. Lucio. Left foot comes out. Good goal. 8 0. Kevin gets the ball. Runs back. Okay. Here we got Flanders tackling from the left side. Left winger, plays their left back, opens up, it's a crossing, good touch, shoots, oh, just wide, I think he might have had it covered. We've got Trem playing the free kick now, just for cross, been cleared twice, comes to Kevin, plays it out, recycles it to Lucio, right foot, comes inside. And just whistles past the far post. Oh, Hatch Lane. Okay, we go. Lucio steps in. This pitch is getting real bad now. Then it comes across. He's right footed, but he can go left. Left foot. And again, he's just gone for the far post. Just gone wide. Get his shooting boots on. He might have scored a couple more goals today. Here we go. I've got the ball. Play a little one, two. There we go, Kevin. Dan, first time pass. Lucio looks up, cross goal, Dan Composure, steps back into his right foot and finishes 9-0 to Hatch Lane. We've got Lucio on the ball now, driving, plays it out to Dan R, to John making the overlap, plays him through, looks up, plays to Dan again. I think it's an attempt of a foul. So it's a free kick to Hatch Lane. Trem steps up. Yeah, rubbish. Um, he will claim this on target and it was going in, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Got John again running down the left. Dan, ball hanging, playing left wing. Gets in. What's he got? Set it back, comes across. Plays it out to Kevin. Dan M. Sets it back to Kevin, left foot. Block goes out for a corner. And we've got Dan M taking it. I think it's Kevin and Lucio getting each other's way. And then Dan can't keep it in, it goes out for a goal, goal kick. And I think ref blows time. So that's it. Final score Hatch Lane 9, Flanders FC 0. We move on. So there you have it, another ruthless display from Hatch, nine goals scored and another clean sheet for Martin. And the defence today increasing their superior goal difference going into the new year. Players, talk to me. Yeah, as you saw, I had an injury. Um, one of their players came up, uh, stud showed straight off my ankle, saw one for me. Um, straight away I felt it for the next five to ten minutes, really got me through it. But then after that, it was kind of just getting on with the game but should be fine should be should be fine moving forward just a few questions please how you doing you up um how do you feel about the game today oh um big win another win we're obviously on the roll doing well can't complain everything's good five goals today yeah seven last week yeah you're in top it's four man you feeling? Five, yeah. yeah five five yeah five uh yeah five goals this week um seven the week before everything's going well you know that's why they call me hashtag the return <laughs> yeah the boys done the job 
you know, fortunately enough for, for me, even playing with you know, just barely 11 men and obviously me half injured, we've we done the job, uh, I can't win 9-0. Um, I think, yeah, it puts us in a good position for the league. I think we're top in the league, uh, I think maybe joint points, or, but our goal difference is really good now, so hopefully that helps throughout the season and yeah, being top of Christmas is perfect and hoping from here we can push on and, and go for the title. Oh, same, same, same. Top of the league, what's the goals for this season? Just aiming to win everything. Hats Lane, we aim to win everything. I'm a trophies man. Hats Lane, win trophies. Everything's good, man. Everything's good. That's, that would be all thanks. Perfect. Cheers, thank Take you. Take care. Yeah, today. But we put that in the past now. We move on to next week. Um, we've got a difficult game coming up against East Way Athletic. Don't know much about them. But they're, they're I mean, they are, I, think they, I believe they won today. So that would put them second. And yeah, bring it on. We're here to, you know, we're here to challenge everyone. We're here to win the league. Yes, exactly what they said there. Top of the league heading into Christmas and in strong positions in all other competitions. Now that's all I've got for you today, but don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And to keep up with the latest news, simply follow us on socials. And if you've got any questions or if you'd like to appear in our other episodes to showcase your talent, then just pop us an email on this email address above and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I've been your host, Ben Arise, and we'll see you on the other side with this.